Unit 11B, finding the sample size for a confidence interval. Example, you want to construct the confidence interval for the mean number of ounces of milk in all quart bottles of LC brand milk. How many bottles must be randomly sampled in order to be 99% confident that the sample mean obtained will be within one one hundredth of an ounce of the true population mean. From a pilot study, use 0 0.03 ounces as the standard deviation. Let me summarize this in a diagram. Uh, the population of interest is all quart bottles of the LC brand milk. Uh, we're interested in mu. We'd like to know something about the population mean, the average number of ounces in a quart bottle of this milk. Uh, we're going to take a sample uh, we don't know the sample size. We're looking for the sample size. Uh, we want 99% confidence. So that's our confidence level. Let me write that down here. Don't forget that piece. And um, from a pilot study, use three one hundredths of an ounce as a standard deviation. Now that doesn't come from our sample, so it's not S. So we use the 0.03 as a estimate for the population standard deviation. Um, we want the mean in our sample to be within one one hundredth of an ounce of the true population mean. Well, that's called the margin of error. We want the margin of error to be 0 0.01 ounces. Well, in this case, we're looking for the sample size. The picture on the left summarizes what I had uh, on the previous slide. And now, um, to find the sample size, we plug into this formula, which says n equals sigma. Sigma is 0.03. On the bottom E, the margin of error is 0.01. Then we have Z critical. Uh, we want to then square this whole thing and round it up. Well, the question is, how do we get um, uh, Z critical? Let's uh, look at that. There are two ways of getting Z critical. The easy way is to use a uh, chart like this one and just go to the confidence level, 99%, and the chart will tell you that 2.575 is the critical value. That's the easy way. Uh, the other way is to use a normal distribution table and make the picture for 99% confidence. That means this area in the center is 99%. This is Z critical we're interested in. Well, if that area in the center is 99%, that leaves 1% for the two tails or uh, 0.5% for each tail. That means the area below Z critical would be 99 plus 0.5 or 99.5% or is a decimal 0.995. 
So we have to look in the body of the table, which are the areas below. Uh, we have to look for 0.995. So if we look there, the closest one is going to be 9949 is too small, 9951 is too big. Uh, so 9994 corresponds to 2.57 and 9951 corresponds to 2.58. So you can use either one of those or go halfway in between, which is what happened with the uh, chart. Now that we have the uh, critical value of Z, we can substitute into the formula, multiplying the numerator gives us a 0 0.7074 divided by 0 0.01. Simplifying that, we get 7.74 squared and rounded up. When you square 7.74, you get 59.90, etc. Round it up. And now we round up always to the next highest integer. So this is 59. So regardless of what this number is, um, we're going to round this up to uh, 60. So Sample sizes of at least 60 bottles will provide sample means that are within one one hundredth of an ounce of the true population mean. And this will happen 99% of the time.